good morning dear students our topic is uh, software project management in the software project management we will cover introduction characteristics of project spm and its importance activities methodologies categories and objectives so in our mind ki basically what is software project management in our simple if we talk about the software ma software project management in the simple words we can say software project management is the is a proper way of planning and leading software projects it is a part of project management that specifically deals with how the software projects are planned implemented monitored and controlled so uh, this is just basically a raw definition of this software project management but before going into the uh, deep details of the software project management we should know ki what is basically project project is basically a planned undertaking what is a planned undertaking planning planning is basically is an essence thinking uh, or you can say uh, we just think about the set of activities that need to be incorporated for the successful execution of the project it is for the successful execution of the project it is a large undertaking uh, it can be considered a large undertaking like a public work scheme project management is basically the application of knowledge skills tools and techniques to project activities to move to meet project requirements if you see in the diagram we can say we have to initiate to some activity which may be the large undertaking or which may be the large activity we have to plan it execute it we have to make its execution and properly we have to make uh, we have to monitor its progress in terms of its intermediate product or in terms of its uh, timeline of the success or the milestone achieved at at a particular point of time it should be monitored and controlled and uh, and finally the when the project will be completed our goals will be accomplished so basically we have to see ki our project should be completed within a specific time line so for achieving the timeline we definitely have to monitor its progress in, through various intermediate stages of the project next basically what is the what are the various characteristics of project no, uh, first characteristic is non routine task are involved it is just not like that uh, you have the routine task uh, like in the conventional activities planning is definitely required because it is a set of activities that need to be planned as per the objective of the project and then aiming at a specific target is target objectives or a specified product is to be created it has to be carried out in several phases for example if we are if we are considering about the software we have to uh, we have to undergo through various phases of development like uh, requirement analysis requirement analysis we do generally uh, feasibility analysis and technical feasibility analysis we have to do then designing phase is to be done then after that <coughs> that uh, coding phase has to be done coding then testing these are the various phases are to be performed for the successful development of the software product which ult which ultimately is of good quality good quality here quality refers to the conformance to requirements conformance to software requirement specification work is carried out in several phases uh, then another character is project is large and or complex we definitely classify uh, the project as a large undertaking or something like even even if you about uh, not talking about the this uh, specifically software discipline if we talk about even the construction of the bridge can be considered as the project if you are considering a flyover in the city then it then it also be considered as a type of project so for considering the project the project manager should should monitor its progress within the within the timeline that that the intermediate uh, that the intermediate frame structure that has been built within the timeline or not okay the every phases should have a predefined time span so another characteristics is basically project has a predefined time span basically what makes a software project different from other projects if we talk about ki how it is different from other projects so first one is basically invisibility invisibility means pro progress is not immediately visible 
for example if you are considering about the bridge project or if you are considering about the flyover project we can say ki some part of the structure has been built but in the software case when we are in the phases of the requirement analysis or the design phases we cannot see that the that the intermediate product has been developed okay so this is basically ki um, progress cannot be immediately visible it cannot be immediately visible at the requirement analysis phase or the or the or considering the software development uh, software development model phases we cannot immediately see the see basically the <coughs> the progress of the software being developed then coming to complexity complexity is it is more complex than other engineering disciplines definitely because software is generally human intensive labor job it is based on intelligence we have to we have to write the creations of the mind in the form of high level programming languages conformity in compliance with the requirements of human beings not on consistent scientific law since when we are developing the project when we are developing the software project it is not as per the as per the requirement of human beings but in in compliance with the requirements of human beings it is not basically on consistent scientific laws okay it is the project is developed according to the requirements of human beings and and not on the basis of fixed fixed natural laws or human or scientific laws okay then coming to flexibility the changes can be accommodated easily at initial stages of software development means we can incorporate the changes when the software is in the early stages of development as you already know it means uh, uh, fixing the requirement means changing the requirement at the requirement analysis phase or the design phase is easier than changing the requirements when the software product has already been developed then coming to uh, basically software project management in its entire discipline it is an art and science of planning planning and leading software projects it is a sub discipline of project management in which software projects are planned implemented monitored and controlled it is an essential part of the software organization to deliver a quality product keeping the cost within the client's budget and deliver the project as per schedule okay we must ensure that the software which is going to be developed must ensure that it should be completed within the client's budget and it should conform with the client requirement and also it should be completed within the as per the schedule and the deadline within the specified time span then coming to importance of spm what is the relevance why why we are using the spm first of all strategic alignment strategic alignment what is strategic alignment basically it is because it is important because it ensures what is being delivered is right and will deliver real value against the business opportunity so uh, spm ensures that uh, ki what the product is being delivered it should conform with the requirement and it will deliver the value or it will fulfill the objective or the goals of the organization for which the software product is going to be developed then coming to leadership leadership project management is important because it brings leadership and direction to project definitely project manager should have the team of the project managing team like the project manager it should provide it should bring the leadership and directions to the particular project on in basically particular project and in it and in its progress realistic project plan then uh, another importance is, uh, it is important it also ensures that proper expectations are set around which can be delivered by when and for how much okay then coming to quality control project management is important because it ensures the quality of whatever is being delivered consistently it's the mark quality is basically conformity to requirement means the software requirements must be fulfilled so for how it must be we cannot say it just have to be fulfilled have to be fulfilled means it it should ensure 
and how it can be ensured it can be ensured by the by its proper management and control that that is where the spm lies then coming to um, uh, then com coming to um, another importance of spm it is clear focus and objective project management is important because it ensures there is a proper plan for executing on strategic goals means uh, for the project which we are going to be developed it should fulfill the requirements and the vision of the organization for which for which the project is going to be developed okay then activities covered by sp if we say in the broad level uh, activities are basically feasibility plan and project execution software project is not only concerned with the actual writing of software many other elements are also associated with the various activities are this feasibility plan project analysis feasibility study planning project execution investigation whether the whether a prospective project is worth starting means whenever you take you whenever you undertake the project you should do the proper feasibility analysis okay ki whether the project is worth starting whether we undertake the project or not probable development cost whether we you have the technical technical resources available for developing that particular project operational cost and benefits of the new system must be investigated okay then planning planning we should plan means we have to identify the various phases that are to be involved in the development of the project outline plan for the whole project and a detailed one for the first stage then coming to project execution it consists of design and implementation phase and then coming to methodologies methodologies in the we can say in the broader way as you already know, know about the software development life cycle consists of the various phases that are involved from concept exploration to retirement of the software if we say in a broader world concept exploration means the idea of a software till retirement of the software when the software has been outdated or not so it coming to defining designing coding testing deployment maintenance okay this is the software development life cycles these are to be monitored by the software project project management team to ensure that the project should deliver its value and and also in conformance with the quality okay then categorizing software projects software projects basically may be categorized as follows information systems or it can be embedded system what is information system in, in information system basically it is general software interfaces with the organization where is embedded system it is the system interfaces directly with the machine like the stock control system is an example of information system general information system embedded control system in in air conditioning equipment is an example of an embedded system then uh, objective versus product project may be distinguished whether their aim is to produce a product or to meet a certain objectives it can be classified like that also then setting objectives it is an important part your objective should be smart smart means abbreviation means it should be specific that is concrete and well defined Mes m means measurable that is satisfaction of the objective can be can be objectively judged a means achievable that is within the power of the individual or group concerned to meet the target r means relevant the objective must be relevant to the true purpose of the project means why we are ta uh, why we have undertaking the project why we have given the project to the client for the purpose of what we are achieving then t is for time constraint mean time constraint means project must be completed and must be delivered within the specific timeline okay then there is defined point of time by which the objective should be achieved then coming to goals sub objectives there are steps along the way to for achieving the objective informally informally this can be achieved defined by completing the sentence means uh, for completing the objective your sub objective should also be achieved or sub goals should also be achieved objective x will be achieved if the following goals are all achieved for example if you are taking about example so we, if we can say means software should be of good quality if if the developer follows the specific quality standard if the testing team follow the specific quality standard and the requirement engineers should also follow the specific standards that is the idea here it is likely to be said here 
Often a goal can be allocated to individual. Individual may have the capability of achieving goal but not the objective on, on their own. ठीक है ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइक यूजर सेटिस्फेक्शन विद सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट एनालिस्ट वट विल बी द गोल ऑफ द एनालिस्ट इट शुड टेक द एक्यूरेट रिक्वायरमेंट वट विल बी द डेवलपर गोल सॉफ्टवेयर डेट मस्ट बी डेवलप्ड शुड बी रिलायबल ओके मीन्स योर गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव शुड बी लिंक्ड ओके डेफिनेटली योर ऑब्जेक्टिव शुड बी अचीव अनलेस एंड अनटिल योर सब ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड गोल शुड बी अचीव then uh, you, then how you can say your objective is achieved how successful the project have been achieved performance measure ki means uh, the project you have developed how much is the failure rate mean time between failures by a practical tech test that can be objectively assessed like the user satisfaction repeat business means whether the client is able to give you give you the order repeated times or not number of complaints if low etc then these are the measures you can check whether your project is successfully achieved or not these are the various references i have referred for the, this development of the slides and video okay so we conclude here